Yo and guys, welcome back to more like Haisu. Uh, in the previous part, uh, we actually learned that the uh, crap. I forgot her name now. Satsu Satsuma, Satsumi, I think uh, something like that. Uh, she wanted to kill herself in the water by drowning, but ended up that the character, the main character, actually stopped her. And well, that's a good thing. At least he didn't do what any others. Uh, many people would definitely do that in a certain situation. So. You know, if somebody was gonna kill themselves in in the ocean, I would have stopped them. I even if I didn't even know them, if they were killing themselves, I would stop them. Really. So why don't we just load up the new chapter? I guess. Oh wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah, I already read this part. He 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 he. Price what? Price might still be a problem. I watched the numbers tick past on the pumps meter. Wait, why'd you ask for a full tank? Twenty five. 26, 27, 28. The readings seem to be rising awfully quickly. I don't like that gray screen at all. Oh, wait, 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 no, that was a bad idea right here. Like, that gray screen's, like, after me. I began to have a nasty feeling in my stomach. I began to wonder what I'd do if we masculated. I hadn't really registered it at the time, but I had just asked for a full tank. We have about 7,000 yen, all, all told. But without knowing the car's capacity, I couldn't begin to calculate whether that would cover the cover the bill. But if it didn't, what then? By my reckoning, we could afford about 60 liters. 38, 39, 40, 41. The meter, the meter ticked on, and the unpleasant feeling in my stomach got worse. God, is it never going to stop? I muttered involuntarily. Don't worry, it's nearly full. Eh? This only this only takes 50 liters. Oh, she was right. The meter stopped short, but about halfway, about between 47 and 48. There was a rattle of a printer, and the print teenager reappeared at my window, holding a receipt. All right, sir, that will be 5,240. Holy, freaking god! Please. Oh yeah, here. I extracted a 5,000 yen note from my pocket and a rather crumpled 1,000 yen note, and held them out. And here's 760 yen change in your receipt. Ah! Thank you very much. No, thank you. No, I'm just kidding. I drove off immediately, leaving, leaving the attendant's cheerful farewell behind us. Wow. Now I can relax again for a bit. At least we wouldn't have to worry about running empty for a while. And we still had some money left, if only 2,000 yen. That was going to be a problem. If it could wait, I had other things on my mind just now. Hey, you never told me you're an expert about cars. I'm not. What? What you? Wait, what? What you? Two U's. What you? you? <laughs> it's like yo yo. What? What do you mean? You even knew about what fuel capacity this thing has. Maybe it had been a lucky guess, or maybe th that kind of thing was general knowledge, and I was just plain ignorant. But I didn't think so, she'd known all about those roads too. There was only one way to find out. I pulled the car's MOT certified out certificate out from under the dashboard. You know what kind of car this is, right? Is this a question? Not exactly, I think of it as a quiz, if you like. Honda, Integra Coupe type- HOLY! IT WAS A HONDA! I CALLED IT! IT WAS A HONDA! IT WAS A HONDA! Holy crap, I was a genius! Thought so. What about the spec then? It's the 99 spec, 5 speed manual, 200 horse- HOLY SHIT! Couldn't- I couldn't believe she knew- I CAN'T BELIEVE SHE KNOWS THIS! But she continued, figure after figure. And they all matched the specifications of the sheet on the sheet I was holding. Land 4.38 meter metris with 1.695 metris total displacement 1797 celsius cc can i stop yet yeah that's enough full marks by the way i put the mot certificate back unbelievably she had got every last digit correct i couldn't imagine how she'd managed to memorize so many figures i couldn't imagine why either she sure knew her stuff though. Given her previously demonstrated expertise on roads and flower flowers, I couldn't help but admire her range of knowledge. How come you know all this stuff anyway? 
No reason. Probably just because I'm older than you. Oh, what a butt move. And she fell silent again as always. Her face had swung back to the window and her eyes were distant again. I didn't get the feeling that she was in the mood to answer any more questions. Older. She sure didn't look it, but I couldn't prove she wasn't. All I knew for sure about her was that what was written on her wristband said sue me. Oh, well, I was right. <laughs> Blood group zero. On matters like our relative ages, all I had to go by were whatever the de details she let slip and those were few and far between. Okay, I was gonna... Uh, that was a far... That was a really long scene, so I'm gonna save here. I'm a constant saver. I'm a mother humper. We spent the rest of the day on the move. Ah, oh, there's the Integra! Apparently that's a ten to Integra. Ahead of us was... Ahead of us was... Blah, blah. Ahead of us, the sun was setting. Still we drove, we still had one, no goal. There was nowhere we needed to go. The fuel issue has had been settled by the time being, for the time being. The only other thing we needed was money. I was down to my last 2,000 yen. If we stuck to our current fru frugal diet, I we could stretch that to cover maybe three or four days. Wow, you guys must eat, must eat a lot. What are we going to do then? About what? I'm nearly out of money. And? Doesn't that bother you? She just looked at me blankly. We were eating onigiri again, they were cheap enough. But even on a diet of onigiri, we were going to run out of petrol again and that costs money. Maybe we should just have just, just have stopped, or even turned back. But I couldn't face the thought of being helpless again like that. That was why I kept on driving. You felt the power of being free. Amer no, I'm just kidding. Based on our experience so far, I reckon we had about 3 days patrol left, driving economically, 3 days patrol and money for 4 days food on starvation rations. In short, we were running out of everything. Tell me, do you actually want to go there, to our Jashima? She said nothing, she just carried on staring out of the window. I think I do, like, a bit. Why? Um, I... I actually didn't, not particularly, I couldn't care less whether we headed what, east or west. You went south! But I'd been driving aimlessly ever since we first ran away. And I, I was getting tired of it. I wanted some kind of goal, some kind of direction. Awajishima would be as good as anywhere. Saving it here. Hold the phone, saving it here. There we go. Wait, there we go. So as the evening turned into night, I pulled up outside a pet... Pachinko? Parlor? Palur? I wasn't planning to play, I wouldn't stand a chance with the pocket change I was carrying now. But I've been to these places before, I knew a few things about them. And I reckoned I could easily come out with a good 10 or 20,000 yen if every ta everything went well. That would be more than enough, we could even get to our Joshima on that much. I put my plan to her. What do you think? Want to come with me? No way. Fair enough. I hadn't been expecting her want to want to. Oh god, what is- I hate saying double words together! It didn't matter anyway, I wouldn't need her. I hadn't even really been asking for help, I just wanted to tell her what I was planning, for her information. Hey, you wait here then. I shut her in the car and headed to the pachinko parlor alone. Oh, what the fudge is that? It's like blurry! Holy crap! It was busier, it was busier than I expected. There were plenty of patrons hustling around between the game machines and ball dispensers. And more to the point, plenty of money boxes. I was in with a chance here. I wove across the floor towards the slot machine corner. Wait, aren't you supposed to be a certain age to gamble? I spent a little while working up and down the aisles sizing the place up. My eyes were drawn to one particular likely prospect. A middle-aged businessman, four cash boxes at his feet, two more on top of the machine he was at. He was on a corner, so there was a most convenient space right next to him. Better still, he seemed to be here by himself, at least. If he had had friends here, he they certainly weren't feeling friendly. I'd found my mark. I could probably have made off with one of the boxes by his feet right then, but and he probably wouldn't have noticed a thing. If this place was, has, was nothing like the others I'd known, there'd be 20,000 yen in each of those. 20,000. I could really, really use. 
I loitered, watching, waiting for him to take the inevitable new break. I didn't even have to wait too long, only about half an hour. He stood up, stretched, and began to walk off. I watched him for long enough to be sure he wasn't headed for the lose. Then I rushed back to the slot machine he'd been playing. I approached warily, glancing around to see what the staff and other players were up to. Then, acting casually I, as though I, what I was doing was as obvious, natural, and reasonable an act as it could be, I bent down and picked up one of the cash boxes. There was a mighty crash, coins scattered across the floor. I had it. I thought. You screwed up. No, I really did have it for a moment, but I was far. It was far heavier than I expected. That's why it crashed to the ground. Every eye in the vicinity turned to see what all the noise was. Every gaze fell on me. I thought I could hear shouting. I thought I, I could sense people racing towards the place, but that was all behind me. I was already through the door and several meters, met meters away, running. I slammed the dark car door shut, panting hard. Forced the key round, roared the engine, stamped on the accelerator. Then as we squealed away, as I tugged the wheel around in a panic, there was an almighty crunch. What? Fuck! I must have mounted the curb or something. That was certain was that the rear end of the car had smashed. Just smashed into something. Wow, you fucked up! I gritted my teeth and cel accelerated away, trying to ignore the hideous scraping that accompanied this. I had even more pressing concerns at that precious moment. Oh god, oh god. I swallowed hard as we emerged onto the open road, trying to catch my breath and stall my heart. That scraping noise I'd heard was beginning to prey on my mind, but my immediate priority was to get well away. Crap, you screwed up, dude. This is what you get for trying to steal stuff. Jesus, you should have thought of this through. Should have thought this through. After driving for 10 minutes with no sign of pursuit, I decided we were probably safe. Wait, where's the... Where, I don't remember Setsumi being there. The next thing was to pull in somewhere and find out how bad that scrape had been. Nah, it's okay. It looks okay, is it okay? Yeah, I don't think it's anything serious. She sounded concerned. I, wouldn't bl I couldn't blame her, but it really didn't look all that bad. You certainly did screw up though. The rear bumper was slightly dented and it... It looked like I'd managed to crack the silencer casing, but I didn't seem to have damaged anything essential. I sank back into the driver's seat, sighing with relief. I was pretty miffed with myself right then. It wasn't just that I'd been cheated of success by such a narrow origin. It was the shock of having failed simply because I hadn't picked anything that heavy up for so long. I should have been prepared for that. I could have held on to it if... I had been expecting it to be a strain. You couldn't have done it, you know. What? You're not who you used to be anymore. Oh. Oh, yeah, that is true. You're stealing stuff from people. It was like she could see right through me. Even so, it wasn't that heavy. Don't think that way. You're a different. You're different now. I knew she was probably right. I didn't want to admit it, but I really had changed. I really wasn't anything like as strong as I thought I was, as I used to be, maybe I had been doomed to failure, but what are we going to do then? She didn't reply, she just stared out of the window out into the night, perhaps she was telling me to give up. Oh my god, how many chances am I going to go through this session? Oh, Emerald, the Emerald Sea, is this the last chapter? Is this, if this is the last chapter, holy crap. Stopping my life, stopping my heart, gonna save here, yes. I have nothing to do but collect trivia. Wait, okay, is this Setsumi talking or dude, the thief? I'm gonna call him Bandit because he figured steal stuff so I'm gonna call him Bandit. Nothing to do but look at maps, close my eyes and travel that way to unknown places. I took some monthly magazines. One time as I was browsing them, my eye was caught by a cover photo. It was a pinup shot. A young model in a skimpy bikini bikini standing in the surf in a cheesy pose. Ah, you're cheesy, you're cheap. The sea behind it was emerald green, the color of the sea in my dreams. She even looked about my age, though. The similarities ended there. 
I didn't even have a figure like that. Oh god, that's weird. Hey. But she was smiling back at me. I wasn't exactly jealous. I didn't even need a bikini, let alone have one. You don't even need it. Oh god, pajamas were enough for me. I passed all these seasons under the white under that white overcast sky without needing to speak to anyone. Wait, what happened to Tatsumi? I remember that day. That that June day when I was first admitted to the, to the hospital. I'd ordered the swimming costume the day before that, all those years ago. I remember that thing itself, that costume that I'd never had the chance to wear. I took it out of the drawer for the first time in years, just a brand new school swimming costume, navy blue never worn. I slipped out of my, my pajamas timidly to try it on. It fitted perfectly. Oh jeez. Oh my god, this is really depressing. I'm sorry, but... So... I'm gonna end off here, I'm not sure if I'm like halfway or if I'm like a quarter away almost done with this, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, I hope you guys have a great day. The teenager grinned in at us, then lifted the nozzle from the pump and thrust it into the car in one swift motion. Who the hell do you think you are putting your 